Hi everybody, welcome to the Agosha Art Studio. Today I am sitting in front of my silk stash here, which is very nicely color coordinated, because I want to talk about art supplies. And my main art supply is fabric like this. And I receive my fabric from donations. People bring me stuff. Uh, it could be old clothes, it could be things that belong to a friend or family member and they don't know what to do with it. Will I take it? I always say yes. And my policy is that if I can't use it in the studio, I will find a place where it can be used because there are places that want fabric and need fabric. And, you know, I'm, I'm in touch with those people. So over the past two years, I have noticed kind of a worrisome trend. Um, I work primarily with clothing, but I also make quilts and other fabric things. And so people know that, you know, oh, well, she's a quilter, she'll take more fabric. I have been receiving huge, and I mean massive, donations of quilting fabric. It's far more than I could use in my lifetime. And one of the things that's happening is that people are passing away and their friends and family, the people who are then in charge of dispersing um, their estate, they're trying to find places for all of this stuff to go. And I have spoken with some other artist friends and they've noticed a similar thing happening. And the really sad thing is, is that these friends and these family members, they don't know what to do with the stuff. So, you know, in my case, people, it's always like, oh, well, a friend of a friend or so-and-so or my sister-in-law's, you know, that sort of thing. I heard of you and got me in touch with you and da-da-da-da-da. So I am talking to you as a creative person because I know the vast majority of my followers are people who have some sort of creative endeavor. Maybe it's fabric-based like this. Maybe you're like me and you have bins and bins of fabric. I have a huge amount of fabric over there in that part of the studio. I have this, I have shelves and all that. But what's going to happen to it if something happens to me? Hmm. This is something that we as creative people don't like to think about. Most of us have a stash of some kind. It doesn't matter if it's a yarn stash or maybe a paper stash or paints or crayons or, you know, whatever it is. All of your art supplies, all of those tools, what's going to happen to them? I brought this up at a Quilt Guild meeting a couple of months ago and the ladies were you know, quilters are notorious for having a huge fabric stash. And they were like, oh, ha, ha, you know, my daughter says she's all just, just going to throw it in a dumpster. And everybody laughed. But the thing is, that's actually a very common sentiment. Often the people just, the people in charge don't know what to do with something. And they end up throwing it away. They don't know what to, where to put it, who wants it. And it has no value to them. So if you are a creative person and you have a stash <laughs> like this, I think it's time for all of us to be responsible about our collections of stuff and think about where we want it to go and what's going to happen to it. Because let's be realistic. Not all of it should be thrown away. If you're working with paints and glues and, you know, anything chemical based, it shouldn't be thrown away. If it's still usable, that's great, but where is it going to go? And I know a lot of us don't want to think about our furniture or our bank accounts or anything like that. But, you know, for those of us who work with our hands, we're working with our tools, we have put a vast amount of time and effort into creating these collections of stuff, which is a resource for our creative endeavors. And there's a lot of time there, a lot of effort, and a lot of emotion that goes into it. So really we need to be responsible individuals and think about where it's going to go. So my next post, I'm going to talk about this in a little more in depth. And I know this maybe isn't the greatest topic, People don't want to hear about it. They don't want to think about it. But as I said earlier, since 2020, I have been receiving so 
much stuff and talking to so many people who are just desperate to do the right thing by their friend, by their grandmother, by their neighbor. They want all of this stuff to go someplace where it will be used. They don't want to throw it away. And I think part of the responsibility, the greater part of the responsibility is to us as the artists, as the creators who have amassed these collections, because let's be realistic. A whole bunch of silk fabric is not the same thing as a couch or a dining room table that somebody could realistically use. People know what to do with that. But what do you do with a whole bunch of stuff like this? So I'm going to make a couple more posts about this topic um, so that we can think about this. And I am interested in what you have to say. Have you run into similar issues like this with other people? Do you accept donations? Do you know where these things go? So until next time, let's think about our stashes. <laughs>